Hi, I'm Paul Taylor, and I'm here to chat to you about your career choices. I've been very fortunate to have had two awesome careers. My first one, I spent eight years as an officer in the British Armed Forces, flying in helicopters, doing anti-submarine warfare, and then helicopter search and rescue. And they were both awesome jobs. But before I left the armed forces, a number of friends of mine died in helicopter crashes. And it really got me thinking about what I wanted to do next. And I decided I wanted to do something that was meaningful and purposeful in my life. And now I'm a neuroscientist, an exercise physiologist, a nutritionist, and I'm doing a PhD in applied psychology. And I get to work with a whole range of different companies around Australia and beyond, and a whole heap of different individuals, helping them out with being a peak performer, being more resilient, but finding more meaning and purpose in their lives. And that's what I want to chat to you about today. So Professor Bill Damon from Stanford University is the world leader looking at adolescent well-being. And he has said that the biggest challenge um, for you guys growing up today is not stress, it's actually a lack of meaning, what he called meaninglessness. And that actually is the same other researchers have shown for adults. When you don't have meaning in your life, it weighs pretty heavy on you. Now, finding meaning is a pretty complex puzzle that you have to piece together over time. But the great psychiatrist, Viktor Frankl, has got some advice for us all, and I think it's very pertinent for you right now. He said there are three clear paths to finding meaning and purpose in life. The first one is through love and connection. The second one is finding courage if you have to undergo adversity. And the third one is finding meaningful work. So one of the mistakes that people of your age make is that they pursue a career or a course that their friends are doing or that they think that they should do, that other people want them to do, or something that they think is going to earn them a lot of money. And the research shows that you need to earn enough money to take it off the table as an issue. You need to earn enough to fulfill your basic needs and that will contribute to happiness. And it turns out that that means you need to earn the average wage. But after that, money doesn't contribute very much at all. What massively contributes is having meaning and purpose and being engaged in your work. And purpose is defined as passion in service to others when it comes to work. Let's think about it. This is really about you finding something that you can be passionate about. And you don't have to be passionate about it straight away. But for me, the key is looking at these different course options and saying, what am I curious about? What really piques my curiosity? What do I think I would be really interested in? Thinking about what problems do you want to solve in the world? What is going to generate that interest? That for me is the first piece of the puzzle is finding something and pursuing something that you are curious about because that will bring you passion. And if you're lucky, you'll end up with what the Japanese call Ikigai, which is this beautiful concept that they have shown is key for a fulfilled life. It's doing something that you love. And that thing you're also good at. And it's something the world needs. And it's something that you can be paid for. That is what we talk about when we say meaningful work. So what I'd like you to think about is what are you curious about? Not anybody else. What are you curious about?